No, it's really awkward. Yeah. But we have to make a video. Yeah. But we're really angry at each other. You know what? What? You always start when I'm not ready. I literally oh. just said to you, hang on. Doesn't that sound familiar? What, what are you talking about? I don't know. So today, Rosie and I thought we would discuss our biggest fears and phobias with you. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. I am so scared of fire, mm. it's stupid. I'm so scared of it. Like, when I'm lighting a candle, I always think, oh my god, what happens if the lighter blows up in my hand and I lose all of my arm and face? I'm scared of being impaled. I'm scared of, um... Mm. Tell them the impaled story with the knitting needle. Oh my god, I'm so terrified that Rosie's gonna leave her crochet or knitting needles on the sofa. Knitting and then crochet I... needles like yay big. Hey, yay big can paralyze a person. <coughs> You've used my Dior eye makeup. Yeah. I hate you. You're wearing my leggings. I can tell they're mine because they're covered in hair and skin. Someone once told me a story that they went potholing and they had someone in front of them and someone behind them and the girl in front of them had a panic attack and stopped moving so there was this line of people potholing and they all had to stop until she calmed down and stopped having her panic attack and he was trapped behind her and that is now my greatest fear that's horrible yeah and she had a panic attack it lasted hours and they were all just stuck there none of them could go do you know what talking about claustrophobia we were at the um worcester cathedral the other day and we were up to the top of the tower yeah, I mentioned it in my blog. Packed yeah. up this turret and Rosie started panicking. I and panic. I was shit in a panic attack, right? Rosie was like... Actually, on my blog I said you were really good, but... I was great. Really good. But you, great. you were good to me, but inwardly, basically, I panicked and you acted okay with me. You were like, keep going, it's fine. But inwardly, you panicked. I more than panicked. I was like, oh my gosh, you're going to have a panic attack in this turret. And I'm going to have a panic attack in this turret. And I was like... Ugh. <laughs> I can't believe it because I've been up there before and I don't remember it being that bad but I was a lot smaller and younger so it obviously wasn't as claustrophobic to me then. Aren't I good in a panicky situation? Panic's twice as hard. I get scared of my mum because I'm... You know? Love you mama. I was just going to say I'm scared of slowly going blind because I'm slowly going blind. Especially my one eye's Rosie, near death. these look like your corneas. <laughs> My mum's blind in one eye, and I nearly went blind. Well, I did uh, at Christmas. How many years? Three years back. Yeah. Do you know why? Why? No offence, but fat people usually go blind through diabetes type two. Excuse me. My brother's girlfriend's got diabetes, and she's taking us up for an engagement meal on Saturday. Thanks, Rhiannon. Thanks, Rhiannon. Hey! <laughs> hey! <laughs> I'm not as angry with you now. Why? Because I remember that I still love you. Despite you being annoying. Close your lips when you talk. God. Close your lips when you talk. <laughs> don't you mean when I you I meant eat? don't talk with your mouth full. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I'm really terrified of? What? Getting planted with drugs at an airport. One thing I'm really scared about, probably one of the biggest ones, mm. is actually getting an STI. Mm, I'm scared about that. Yeah. Because I well. know a lot of people who've had or have STIs, and it's more like, people than you think have yeah. got the herp. You know? What is the percentage? Apparently, hundred percent. I'm not even joking. Apparently, our city Worcester in England is the highest Riddled. for STIs. Riddled. I am really scared of getting bludgeoned to death. Bludgeoned? No, bludgeoned. <laughs> Do you know what I get scared of? And I'm not even joking, this is genuinely what I get scared of. I get scared that I'll get pregnant and I've never been, I've not been with a man, obviously I'm only with Rose. So I get scared that it'll be an immaculate conception, much like Mary did with baby Jesus, but no one will believe me. Are you pregnant? No, but my boobs have got bigger and I've been sick every morning. I also haven't had a period in over three months now. I know. Are you pregnant? No. Are you pregnant? No. I'm having the pill, so that stops my periods and makes my boobs bigger. Yeah, but are you pregnant? No. Are you pregnant? No. Preggo? No. A little bit of no. preg? No. Preggy poo. No! Preggy booty. No! Preg preg. No! Pregnant. What would you do if I was pregnant? With child. What would you do if I was pregnant? 
What could I do? Well, stay with me. You want to have a baby with me? I'll just have the baby and we'll look after it as our own. Yeah, but who's the fucking dad? I don't know. I'd be like, I did it for you. Oh, really? Say we had a baby mm. and we had to go to a sperm bank, mm. right? If I pick some hot ass Latino sperm, no. Why? Because I want a white baby because we're both white. I want no. Alejandro. I'm not being rude. Like, if I was with a Latin chick, I'd have a Latin baby, and if I was with a black chick, I'd have a black baby. But I'm with a white chick, so I'm gonna have a white baby because I not only is our baby gonna be like oh I don't know who my dad is and I've got two lesbian mums but I don't want it also to be like oh and I don't even look like my family like Tina something... said on the L word that's a lot of otherness to yeah other child. otherness yeah I think that's just racist yeah but if I like I said if I had a black girlfriend, I'm joking I'm joking I like them Asians yeah I like Asians. all about the Latines see uh, Latines don't do it for me Asians yes no Latines Asians Latines Asians but you've got to admit those little Asian when they're like... <laughs> no, I don't see it. I'm just like, what are you doing? What are you laughing? What's funny? Oh, I'll share the joke. If Rosie does have a immaculate conception baby, we're going to call it... Emmanuel. Her... No, wait, I'm not even done. Jesus was a Jew and he was my like, uh, immaculate conception, so we'll call it Jesus. Is he called Jesus of Nazareth? No, he's called Jesus of the Bible. God, you annoy me. Don't say that to God, you're already dissing his kid. <laughs> What's the way some people pronounce Jesus? Jay-Z? 